I am gonna show you how to get these amazing 80s inspired curls, even if you have basically no hair. I love curling my hair with this wand because it just gives you an insane amount of curl, which means an insane amount of volume. The only downside is it's definitely more time consuming doing small curls, um, but yeah. This is one of my favorite ways to curl my hair, even though I don't do it very often because it's just so time consuming, but it is amazing. I know everyone always wants to know what size this is. This one is an Amica. I have had it for literally a million years. I cannot remember the size off the top of my head. I will look it up and I will put that in the description for you so you can see what the actual size is. But for reference, I mean, the thickest part is about as wide as my finger and the thinnest part is sort of like one of those chopstick curlers. So you could do the same thing with one of the chopstick curlers. It's totally fine. It doesn't have to be this one that's a bit thicker at the base. That just happens to be the one I have and I have not replaced it with another one. So like with all curls, we're just gonna start by sectioning out our hair. Um, when I blow dried my hair this morning, I did use a strong hold mousse so that is going to help my curls hold and because we're doing such small curls you want to take fairly thin sections they should be thin enough to kind of see through them a little bit they don't have to be so thin that you could like read a newspaper or a piece of your book through them but thin enough that you can kind of see your hand through the hair um, you could do bigger sections obviously you can do whatever you want but you are going to lose some of the actual tiny curls if you don't use tiny sections. You're gonna make bigger clumps of curls and they just aren't gonna stay as tight and as close to your scalp because to get a ton of volume, you really wanna curl these all the way up to your scalp. Of course, don't touch your scalp so you don't burn yourself, but you wanna get as close to your actual scalp as possible. We're just gonna take tiny curls and I'm gonna do this really fast. Or I'm not gonna do it really fast. I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna curl my hair and I'm gonna fast forward it for you guys, otherwise it will be here forever. sometimes people feel it's really hard to wrap it close to your scalp so you don't have to go too close to your scalp to start with you can start a little farther down start wrapping it around and then once you've got the ends wrapped you can roll it in your hand up closer to your scalp and that's usually in a lot easier way to get it up to your scalp than trying to start at your scalp um, you're more likely to burn yourself that way, but do watch your fingers and if you're not used to using a wand I do recommend a heat protecting glove or you'll probably burn your fingers a lot um, Not gonna lie my nails help because I can get pretty close with the tips of my fingers because my nails are in the way um, And I can kind of hold on to the edge of the hair with my nails I try not to get them too. I, I don't know if it would melt them if I held them there, but definitely stops me from burning my fingertips over and over, but even without the nails, I'm pretty good at using it, but I use hot tools all the time. If you're not used to it, I would recommend a heat protecting glove to save your fingers. That's because I want kind of my hair to just have that like super curly girl kind of like they don't have a part Their hair is just wild and everywhere. So I don't really work with a part I just kind of go straight across the top of my head in whatever direction works the easiest for me and Try to just cram as much curls as close to my scalp as possible All along the top and crown of my head to just give myself absolute maximum volume Thank you. 
as usual you want to make sure you let that curl completely before you touch it at all and I just want to say that took me about 15 to 20 minutes probably closer to 20 which for me is a long time usually I can curl my entire head in like four or five minutes flat so 20 minutes is a long time for me and I just want you to know that because if it's taking you 40 minutes to an hour that is totally normal with curls like these if you are new or you're just slower at curling your hair this method is definitely going to be more time consuming because it definitely is more sections of hair smaller sections of hair and the wrapping itself is a few seconds longer because you're wrapping so many more times the time really does add up if you're doing this properly all right so then we're just gonna shake it out like crazy you don't want to brush this do not brush your hair you will just turn into a complete frizz ball treat your hair like it is naturally curly do not brush it if you really want you can use a wide tooth comb but honestly finger brushing and shaking it out works fine Definitely make sure you get all underneath, not just the top. You don't want any clumps left. You want big, full hair. So you wanna make sure you break up all those curls. And this gives like 80s perm. There we go. I find curls like this is like a love it or hate it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I happen to love it. I don't usually wear it down like this. I usually use it to create really easy effortless updos. I mean, you just grab your hair, throw a clip in it when it's like this, and it looks like you did so much when you literally did nothing. You just shoved all your hair in a clip and it instantaneously looks amazing. So I love curls like this for that reason. Try it out, have some fun with it, see what you can come up with. You really can't go wrong as long as you get a ton of curls in your hair. It's gonna give you this amazing volume and curl and it doesn't have to be this curling iron, but I will put one that is the same or very, very similar in my Amazon storefront that you can find. And I will find out the exact size of this one as well and include it in the description for you. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And then you won't miss any of my videos because I do post three of these guys every single week. And I post every day on all my other socials, including shorts. Leave me a comment, just say hey, or let me know if you have any questions. See you next time, guys. Bye.